There's a Halloween display along Highway 31 in Mount Com that is getting renewed attention. The lynching post display has always raised eyebrows, but in today's political climate, it's reaching a new level. Fox 44's Kendall Green went looking for an explanation from the man behind it. Adam, some people are taking notice while others are taking offense. While our country has a painful history of lynching black men, women, and children because of their race, the man responsible for this display says race has nothing to do with it. A noose hanging free from a gallow isn't something you see every day in 2020. But for Mount Calm residents, it's as common as the town's welcome sign. A noose wrapped around a figurine's neck preparing for execution by hanging is the image Mount Calm residents say they've grown accustomed to. Residents say the display leaves far too much room for interpretation. Probably wasn't the best idea to put up and um, I just knew it was going to be controversial and yeah, I wouldn't have done it. But Bill Deere, the man who built the gallows, calls the display a tribute to country western history. I built that thing. A friend of mine and I were just having some fun. We thought we're on history property, you know, and so let's have some fun with it. So we built it with nothing in mind other than making it part of the Wild West. And some folks in town that we spoke with say they see it that way. And to me, it's just a piece of history of the Wild West or the West early 1800s era. Deer tells us he's aware of the history of lynchings and what it means for black Americans and the emotional toll associated with it. Is it right or is it wrong? Black people were lynched many years ago for little or nothing. I thought that was wrong. I studied history. I have numerous books out here, as you'll see, on history. Some residents say it's time for the display to come down. Do you think it needs to come down? I believe so. Put like a free set or something up there for the kids to play on. Not a Man. Deer tells us though the display has been up for years, it doesn't have much personal significance, saying he isn't opposed to taking it down since many can find it offensive. In studio, I'm Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.